Uh, today I will show you how to do on-device debugging on Sony Ericsson Java Platform 8 phones. On-device debugging is a technique to, do, uh, to debug Java applications directly on the phone instead of using an emulator on a PC. Uh, the first thing we have to do uh, is to actually set up the phone uh, to be able to enable on-device debugging. What we do, we go into the Sony Ericsson service menu and set developer mode to on. Uh, once that is confirmed, we also need to do another setting in the USB menu. Uh, so we go into the connectivity menu uh, and we make sure the USB network type is set to via computer. Uh, once that is confirmed, we can actually take the phone, uh, put it into the USB. Uh, and here we select the phone mode in the menu that appears. Once phone mode is connected, uh, the phone will be connected to the PC. And in the network's connection on the PC, we can actually see that we have a new local area connection, local area connection 31 in this case. Uh, in the Sony Ericsson Java ME SDK, there is a tool uh, called Connection Proxy included. We use that tool to establish the connection between the PC and the phone. Uh, in the Connection Proxy, we must make sure we are using the correct port to establish the connection and we, here we use the Ethernet emulation port just established and we press the connect button. When the phone is connected uh, we can see information about the phone. Now we can see that the C702 phone with Java Platform 8 is connected and we can also see how much data is transferred between the PC and the phone. Before we actually can start doing the on-device debugging there is one setting we must do with the application. So in the application we have a NetBeans. Uh, I open the properties window. Uh, I select the platform and we have to choose the emulator platform and actually set the emulator platform uh, to be on-device debugging. And in the on-device debugging emulator we choose in this case Java Platform 8. And then we can just go into our application. Uh, in the run menu we choose debug main project. Uh, when we do this, the application will be transferred to the phone uh, and executed on the device. Using on device debugging, we can set breakpoints and watches. Uh, so now in the code, we can actually step by step through the code we have created and we can see the output of the code we have. And this is actually executed on the phone. This was on device debugging on Sony Ericsson phones. More information can be found on Sony Ericsson Developer World. Uh, thank you for watching.